This has been a really exciting week because we are setting up for our Christmas market, which is this weekend. I cannot believe it's the Christmas market already. It feels like yesterday was the summer market, but it's, you can see behind me that Joelle from Monpre Collection has already started setting up her booth and just wait till you see it. Like, I'm just giving you a little bit of a taster behind me, but the rest of this room is already, and she's not even finished setting up yet, so just wait. Uh, but uh, Joelle's the first vendor to set up. We are, over the next two days, everyone's gonna be coming and setting up their booth ready for Saturday morning at 11 when we open. But I thought I would give you a taster today on what you'll experience when you come. Uh, obviously next week we'll be able to show you all the video of exactly how everything looks because not everything is set up and ready quite yet, but you'll see where we've got to. And so I thought I'd give you a little behind the scenes um, glimpse into our setup and, and what we're doing but I also thought I'd give you a tour of my Christmas trees. Now, if you remember, I said that I'm aiming for 20 Christmas trees. Um, I'm still on target, but uh, I'm gonna give you a tour of some of the Christmas trees and how we've decorated them. So I decided to do something a little different for our entrance hall as people come into the market. And I'd seen a picture, an idea that inspired me of um, packages hanging from this beautiful branch with greenery on. And I thought that would be really cute, And but I wanted to tie it into my theme for the market. So what I decided to do was to wrap different shapes and sizes of packets in paper that is pictures from my Night Before Christmas book. So what I did was I scanned uh, the book pictures in and then I printed them out. And then what I've done, is I've wrapped these different sizes of package and and then I'm just adding in a little of the um, twine. So I bought some of this really cute kind of red and white twine. And what I'm then doing is I'm hanging them from this old branch that I got Stephen to put up on the wall for me. Now, this wall is still not completely finished. Um, you can see it's still being drywalled. So I'm trying to make a very um, uninteresting wall interesting. And I think this is gonna really work. So I'm just hanging each of these boxes. So I'm covering, putting twine on them and then I'm gonna hang them. And then basically it will tell the story in pictures of the night before Christmas book as people come in. And this is gonna be the spot where people enter our grand prize. Uh, so I just thought it was kind of an interesting way to depict the story in pictures on the wall. So I thought I would give you a little tour of my Christmas trees. And this is the first one, it's in our music room. And you can see it looks really, really great in the window. Jackson's enjoying uh, sitting on the chair next to it. But this one uh, I decorated with lots of red, some poinsettias. Um, we made these really cute little paper chains from vintage Christmas music. Um, very traditional, uh, natural look. Kind of indicative of what they would, maybe would have done back in the Victorian days when it was a uh, very, very simple, and it's kind of one of those trees, it's very, very sparse, uh, very wide, but I love it. It just really, really looks so, so beautiful in this room. And uh, it's obviously daylight right now, so you can't really see the lights too well, but uh, it's, uh, that's number one. My second tree in the reception room is my other really, really big one. And this one is kind of a strange shape of tree. And you can see that Joelle from Monpre Collection has started setting up her booth here and it's looking fabulous. Uh, but this tree, yeah, it's kind of like very tall and thin, which is kind of odd. But the thing I love about this tree is it's much more dense than uh, the other one. And on this one, we've made some popcorn garlands. Uh, we put on some uh, little bows in the red and the green. We've got some oranges, dried oranges, and we've also got some of our uh, Ladysmith Manor ornaments from last year, the 2020 edition. Um, the 2021 edition of our ornaments will be on our Christmas tree outside at our booth over the weekend. 
and um, again this one's just looking really really lovely like I say it's not very wide and it's kind of tall and thin but I think it works really really well in this space my third tree is in the corner of the dining room you can see that uh, this is going to be Birkinshaw's booth we're um, just starting to set the booth up but this tree I put up again it's nice and tall very simply decorated I've got the lights on it and on this one I decided to put cookie cutters so what I've done is I found all the different cookie cutters that I have and then I've put ribbon on them and then I've hung them on the tree and uh, I think it's very fitting that the cookie cutter tree goes with Birkinshaws with their wonderful cookies and cakes and yumminess uh, but uh, I just really love the simplicity of this tree it looks like just so pretty and the light shines off the cookie cutters and uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. So that's number three. Christmas tree number four is also in the dining room. This one is in the process of being decorated, so it's not all finished yet. Got the lights on. We actually have some um, little paper chains hanging, and uh, we actually have some little mice, which I love. I love Christmas mice. So we've got one there, and another one up here. Um, and then the one down here and uh, so we have some mice hanging on there but this one uh, like I say is still being decorated it's got a few more finishing touches before the weekend um, so that's number four number five is in our big room and this one uh, the room has been decorated to feel like a kids bedroom out of the night before Christmas book so we've got our little toy box here and the uh, tree has got some really cute little Victorian um, ornaments, these little books. We've got some oranges, we've got the lights. And uh, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more paper chain to this tree. Um, so again, we're still in the process of putting it and finishing it, but it's starting to get there. So that's number five. Number six is this very, very cute little tree that I have. I brought in for Influitive Art. She's going to be bringing some amazing ornaments. And so they, her tree is ready. Um, just need a little light, so a few lights on here. And it will be ready for her ornaments. So that's number six. Number seven is in our pub room that hasn't been finished yet. So it's still under construction, but we're using it for the um, market and the painted pineapple is going to be uh, have a booth in this space so they're going to be using this tree for all their beautiful ornaments that they bring so we put lights on it we've got the fireplace mantle and the santa sack ready uh, we've still got more decorating to do but that's number seven on the other side of our chimney brick chimney is tree number eight now this one does not look very exciting at the moment it's potted it's ready we need lights on it and it needs decoration but this is for birch house lettering monica is going to be br also bringing some amazing ornaments so this is going to be just full beautifully full of her amazing calligraphy and art ornaments i cannot wait to see all these trees um decorated but for now it looks a little bit plain but just wait till you see it at the market so this is number eight Numbers 9, 10 and 11 are all outside the front of the manor. So I've got one here on this porch at the end. I've got one over there that you can see near the wheelbarrow. That will be for um, our Lady Smith Manor booth. And then we've got one by the front porch. And you can see today it is jerking it down with rain. It is not a nice day. But it is not going to rain on Saturday and Sunday, so that's great. But 9, 10 and 11 of my trees are outside. They've all got lights on, you can't see them at the moment. Um, but also very, very exciting out here are my hot chocolate bar booth and my Ladysmith Manor bar uh, booth. Now, Stephen made me these last weekend and he built them for me out of uh, wood. We stained them and we are now so they're going to be ready we've got our hot chocolate bar to go in one and the booth the other one will be our booth for ladies with manor and so today i'm actually going to be sewing some material that will go on the top to give them a roof so that if which it's not going to but if it does rain we don't get wet at the weekend 
So my 12th tree is out here in the entrance hall. And uh, this one has got uh, some bunting on that I made, I sewed yesterday. Uh, I just, I really liked my bunting from summer and I thought I'd just do a miniature version for Christmas. And then it's also got these really cool stars. Now my mum made these. What we did was we cut stars out of cardboard and then we wrapped them with wool. And they've just come out beautifully. Um, and they look so, so cool. And this one's gonna be an extra special tree um, because I have some quotes from the Night Before Christmas book that are coming uh, that Monica from Birch House Lettering has made for me. And they're also gonna go on this tree. So it's gonna be uh, right here in the hallway. You can see here, this is my um, hanging storybook that I've put together today. And uh, I've made, I've hung all the, the boxes with the story, the pictures of the story on and added some greenery. And so as people come in, they really get the sense of the story. Um, they can enter the grand prize here and then um, see the story or see the quotes from the story on the tree. So I'm really excited about this part. My 13th tree is this really cute one. This is one of my favorites and I've used a champagne ice bucket and um, my mom has made some more of these really, really adorable stars from wool and cardboard. And uh, this is sitting right in the center of our island in the kitchen, which will be uh, the Garden Barney Brunswick's booth. So we're excited to be actually using our kitchen for one of the booths. So people will be able to walk around the kitchen and see uh, all of the amazing syrups that um, they have to offer. But this is kind of a cute little centerpiece. So it's just getting dark and now the trees are really starting to look pretty. This is the one that uh, I showed you earlier. And you can see now we've added a little bit more decoration. These really sweet little um, decorations. And back in the day, when they didn't have a lot of money, they would peel tins, essentially, and make these really simple um, and very pretty ornaments. And so these are replicas of that. And so they're just very thin and quite shiny, but they really look very pretty. So we've added that onto this tree with uh, the paper chains that are hanging and the mice. Um, and it's just really finished it off beautifully. So I still have some more trees to go up in the next day to get to my 20. And um, next week I'll be able to show you all of them and what they all look like when they're all finished. So this is my second piece of bunting that I made last night. And uh, the first piece uh, I put on the tree in the hallway. And I was thinking of putting this one onto this tree, but actually I think I'm gonna be putting this bunting onto the tree that's gonna be in our photo booth for the market. So we're gonna have a family photo booth that's gonna be decorated for Christmas outside, and uh, you'll be able to come and take your photos with your family. And so I thought this was just a really, really cute way of adding a little bit of Christmas cheer. And if you remember back in the summer, I made bunting for the Vintage Village Fair. So I've done exactly the same thing. I just decided to make it miniature. So all the little um, buntings are just tiny. And this one's really cute. It's got the poinsettias and then the, the black and the gold. Um, so it actually has worked out really, really well. I'm actually really pleased with it. So I will um, show you next week um, what the photo booth finally looks like. But I think this is gonna be um, one of the uh, main attractions. So my mannequin is now almost finished. Um, Joelle has lent me this really pretty blouse that I've put underneath this beautiful shawl. This shawl is um, really, really old. It was given to my mum as a gift and uh, it's just beautifully handmade. And so we have that now. I think she needs a little pop of color. So she has her beautiful skirt, we have a light underneath, so some of that light glows through. Um, 
but she needs something, just something. So I'm now off to try and find that little extra pop of color that I can add to her outfit to finish her off. So with so much to do to finish everything ready for 11 o'clock on Saturday, if you haven't got your tickets, head on over to the website um, and you can pick some up. Uh, we will, we have made the decision that we will be allowing walk-ins at the gate. We will be monitoring numbers, we, uh, masks are mandatory and we will be implementing social distancing. Um, since we are a market, New Brunswick government have confirmed to us that we do not need proof of vaccination. Uh, but we will be taking all the precautions to make sure we keep everyone safe. So jump on to our website and get your tickets or you can, like I say, come to the gate and cash only at the gate, $5 a ticket. And we would love to see you because it's going to be such a fabulous weekend. Uh, we've got our hot chocolate bar, we've got our live music, we've got all our amazing vendors, we've got all the decorations and we'd love for you to join us and be part of our second annual Christmas market. So we look forward to seeing you on Saturday morning. We open at 11, 11 till 7 Saturday, 10 till 4 on Sunday. And uh, I can't wait next week to be able to show you some video of everything that happened. Um, and if you can't make it or you're from, uh, you live a little bit further away so you can't be here, we will show you and allow you to experience it next week on our next episode of the Ladysmith Manor Diaries. Mm -hmm.